All right, welcome back. Here we are, our first lesson with our precious book. Let's turn the pages. There is a lot of information at the beginning, a lot of information you can take your time, read, use your dictionary to get the meaning of those words if you want. Uh, I just want to take you straight to page um, page 7. Page 7 where we have tableau de continue and this is the table of contents and you can see we have dossier 0 découverte. Uh, dossier zero, this in English would simply mean uh, file zero. Okay, dossier zero, découverte. Now, there are a number of things that you need to discover before uh, you venture into now uh, the remaining uh, chapters. So, you'll see that um, those dossiers go on and on on and on until you reach dossier. Um, Dossier 9, Lio de Vie. Well, what is important to note here is that um, French will sound interesting for you. It will sound a bit uh, difficult. Don't get scared. We all started like that. So, take it easy. Now, let's begin with Dossier 0 or Dossier 0, Découverte. Now, on this first um, part, page 14, um, you'll find that what we are talking about here is identify your language. Identify a language. I'm not going to be able to interpret you everything like this. So that's why you needed to have a dictionary. If you have a dictionary, get the meaning of identify your language. How to identify okay so that identify simply means to identify yun long means a language to identify a language now the context of this in this uh, dossier zero or dossier zero um, the main objective of this dossier zero is to be able to teach you how to introduce yourself it's called so présenté how to introduce yourself how to ask people what their names are uh, and uh, how to communicate, basic communication when you meet for the first time, um, how would you communicate, interact and break the ice. That is what is important in this, um, in this chapter or first part of the uh, lesson. Now, um, here we have a black table and this black table here is talking about uh, European Day of Languages on 26th. This is celebrated on 26th of September. Journée Européenne des Langues, 26 September. Now, um, on this table, this is a chart. And on this chart, there are so many other languages that are on this chart. Are you able to identify any of them? They are actually all of them mean the same thing in different languages. Try and see if you are able to identify any language that you know here. And more so, try and see if you can be able to identify French. Have you seen it? I hope you discovered it. Did you find bonjour? I hope you found bonjour. Look for it. I will not show you where it is. So we move on. Now, um, assuming this is now a real life situation. On this day of the European Day of uh, Languages, there are some institutes that have offered to give an introduction to foreign languages. So for those of you who are who are enthusiastic about uh, foreign languages. For example, in your case, you'd like to learn French. Others may want to learn uh, Portuguese. Others may want to learn Chinese and so on and so forth. So then there is an announcement that has been put up. And this announcement is being called Passeport pour les langues. It's like uh, languages passport. 
So you are being told to um, discover about 30 languages free of charge. So it is during this celebration that these uh, institutions have opened their doors so that you are able to get introduced to certain languages. You can see here's the list of languages under the center that is offering. So on this day of 26 September, these institutions have opened their doors so that you can be able to get introduced to these languages. You can see that. Um, so then, activity two, if we come to number two here, la Journée Européenne des Langues organise une initiation aux langues, donc moi aussi Regardez la liste des langues, puis écoutez. Vous entendez quelle langue? Which language do you hear? So here we are going to play a CD, and in that audio, you'll be able to uh, identify which language do you hear when that CD plays. So um, I will play that now. Alter Ego Plus, niveau 1. Méthode de français. Achète livre. OK, now listen. Dossier 0, découvert. Dossier zéro. Mm -hmm. Activité 2. Activité 2. Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe. Hello, my name is Jane. Ni hao, wo de ming zi jiao xiaqing. Zhen dobre, mam na email Anya. Bom dia, eu me chamo Mônica. Guten Tag, ich heiße Klaus. So when you look at that list, were you able to identify any of the languages? Were you? You can play that CD again and be able to see if you are able to identify. Of the, the most important thing there is to be able to identify French. Were you able to identify it? Of course, I'm sure you are able to identify French. Okay, let's move to the next activity. You are in a group. The assumption here is that you are in a class. A vous. Now to you. Faites connaissance avec le groupe. Dites bonjour et dites votre prénom. Get to know the group. Say hello or bonjour. And say your first name. Prénom is first name. For example, Bonjour, je m'appelle Camille. Hello, my name is Camille. So you get to know, if you want to say your name, you say, je m'appelle. So for example, my name is Vitalis, so I would say, Bonjour, je m'appelle Vitalis. Can you also introduce yourself? Just say, Bonjour, je m'appelle, and then you say your name. Very good. Now let's go to the next activity. Activity number four. So we go to activity number four. In activity number four, you'll find écouter. Associer le dialogue au dessin. Écouter means listen. Listen. Associer is to link or to associate the dialogue with the drawing. Associer Le dialogue au dessin. So you are going to listen to an audio and try to be able to link whatever uh, dialogue with each of these. So you listen to dialogue one and see if it corresponds with any of the three. Then you listen to dialogue two and then dialogue three. So it will be counting A. A means one. Two is deux. And trois means three. So, listen. Activité 4 1 Comment tu t'appelles Yoko. Et toi Which drawing Comment tu t'appelles Yoko. 2 Je m'appelle Clémence. Et vous Je m'appelle James. Mm -hmm. Trois. Vous vous appelez comment Hans. Appelez s'il vous plaît. H A N S. 
Okay, now look at the three drawings again. Here, somebody is introducing himself or herself. So présenté, so présenté is to introduce oneself. So, if you look at the drawing, now A, B, and C. The first one, we are talking about comment tu t'appelles Yoko et toi? Comment tu t'appelles means what is your name, Yoko, and you? What is your name? The person responds, Yoko, and you? So you can imagine which of the three. Who could Yoko be? And who could be asking, Comment tu t'appelles? Then, second part. Je m'appelle Clémence, et vous? My name is Clement, and you? And by the way, Clémence in French may not necessarily mean Clement. In some of our countries, Clement is a man's name. Je m'appelle James. So, je m'appelle Clémence, and you? Je m'appelle James. My name is James. So, which could be responding to? I mean, which drawing here could be corresponding to that? And then the, three, the third one. Vous vous appelez comment? Still, what is your name? Hans. Epele, s'il vous plaît. Epele means spell it, you know. He's, he just said his name, but then the next person, the other person is asking him to spell the name. S'il vous plaît means please. S'il vous plaît, please. And then he goes ahead to spell his name. Arch. A N S. H in French is pronounced as Arch. Arch. So I will repeat that dialogue so that you listen to the people themselves speak. And now it will be up to you to get the answer. Activité 4. 1. Comment tu t'appelles? Yoko. Et toi? Deux. Je m'appelle Clémence. Et vous Je m'appelle James. Trois. Vous vous appelez comment Hans. Et plaît, s'il vous plaît. H-A-N-S. Good. Now, get the answer. I'll be checking the answers... In the next lesson, you will tell me what your answer was. Let's move on. So we go to Epele son nom. Epele son nom, l'alphabet. Epele, you remember? We said it's the other page. Epele, s'il vous plaît, you remember that? So Epele is the verb. So we say to spell one's name. Epele son nom. To spell one's name, l'alphabet. L'alphabet is basically like in English. It is the alphabet. So here you are just going to learn how to um, uh, to 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 say the letters of the alphabet. If you already speak English, it is the same alphabetical letters. So there is no new uh, alphabet uh, letter of the alphabet. But the difference would be in the pronunciation. So let us listen to that and see how the French uh, letters are pronounced. Activité 6. Activity 6. A comme Annie. A comme Annie. B comme Béatrice. Repeat after that. C comme Catherine. D comme Daniel. Make sure you repeat. E comme Eugénie. F comme Fabien. G comme Gérard. H comme Hugo. I comme Igor. 
J comme Julie. K comme Karine. L comme Laure. M comme Monique. N comme Noémie. O comme Ophélie. P comme Paul. Q comme Quentin. R comme Renaud. S comme Simone. T comme Thibaut. U comme Ulysse. V comme Véronique. W comme William. X comme Xavier. Y comme Yves. Z comme Zoé. Hope you noted the different the difference in pronunciation of letters like W, Y, okay, W, W, because W is just W. Um, in English you say W, in French you say W. So W, Y, Y is Y, Y, so on and so forth. So take your time. Go through that. There's nothing really new there. Just a matter of you going through it. Uh, read it, read it, read it, read it. And now spell your name. Ask yourself, je m'appelle, or introduce yourself, je m'appelle Vitalis. And then, appelez votre nom, s'il vous plaît, ou bien votre prénom. You know, then the question would be, what is the spelling of Vitalis? V, E, T, a L E C E. Again, note the pronunciation of letter E. It is not O and it is not A, but it is something between A and O. So it is E. Let's go to activity 7. Now, you need to listen and respond listen and respond écoutez et répondez listen and respond activité 7 Bonjour, je m'appelle Georges. Georges Avec un J Non, pas avec un J, avec un G. G comme Gérard. Ah, en portugais, ça s'écrit avec un J. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's play it slowly. Somebody's introducing himself and actually saying that his name begins with the letter G and not J. And remember, in French, when you say J, J, it does not really mean G. J in French means J. And J sounds as J. Let me repeat it. And you remember this guy's name is called George. Okay? Slowly now. Activité 7 Bonjour, je m'appelle Georges. Georges, avec un J Non, pas avec un J, avec un G. G comme Gérard. Ah, en portugais, ça s'écrit avec un J. Mm. I'll play it again and pause it in between. Activité 7 Bonjour, je m'appelle Georges. You can understand that. 
Bonjour, je m'appelle George. Hello, my name is George. George, avec un J? You see the lady saying George, avec un J? George, is it with J? Hmm? Avec un J? Avec means with un J? With a, a J? Non, pas avec un J. Avec... No, not with J. But with... Avec un G. Avec G, un G comme Gérard. Avec un G. With G. G comme... Comme means as. Ah, en portugais, ça s'écrit avec un J. Then she says, ah, en portugais, that means in Portuguese, ça s'écrit avec... In Portuguese... That name or that is written as or is written with letter J. So now, let's answer question uh, one. Quel est le prénom? Quel est le prénom? What is the first name? What is the first name? Comment ça s'écrit complété? How do we write it or how is that written? That name, how is it written? Comment ça s'écrit? How is it written? Complété, complété means you complete it, complete it. Then that is the name, there's a dash there. So say it and complete it. Is it avec un J or avec un G? Okay. Que dit la personne pour expliquer? What does the person say in order to explain? You heard when they were talking and the other person was asking avec un J ou bien avec, is it with J or G? And then he explained and said what? As? What? Complete that. Now, eight, écoutez et écrivez les prénoms. Listen and write the first names or the names that you hear. Listen and write them. We go to activity eight. Activity eight. Un. Je m'appelle Nenad. Comment? Nenad. Nenad. Nenad? Non, Nenad avec un N. N comme Noemi? Oui. N. E N A D De Je m'appelle Chine. Pardon Éplé s'il vous plaît. S C H I N So you write the names as they are being spelled. 3 Je m'appelle Yamamoto. Comment ça s'écrit Y-A-M-A-M-O-T-O -A -A -O. So now that you listen to the, the, the first names or the names as they are being spelled out and write them down. Okay. Now you can do that for your name in activity 9. You also say your name and spell it. Epelez votre prénom. If you have a friend, do the same. Um, and try to spell as many names as possible. Okay, now moving on the other page. Um, this part here is talking about you knowing the first names uh, of French people and so on and so forth. Well, it's just for you to be able to know the French culture. It has got nothing to do with you being a very good uh, French student, so don't worry about this. By the way, so far, this sounds very technical, and for anyone who is beginning to learn French, they may feel discouraged that, hey, what are these? Even the pronunciation of the words, the letters sound different, everything sounds different. 
don't worry this is actually dossier zero it is just zero file you know file zero this is to warm you jog you jog your mind a bit so that now when you start learning you are like wow or oh, so this is what i met last time so don't worry about where we are so far don't worry about this even je m'appelle uh, quel est votre prénom uh, complété these are verbs that we, we are going to learn how to use them so in the near future you'll be able to know how these sentences are formed but for now we are just jogging your mind so that you get used to the environment of hearing french that is what it is all about so for that reason um um you can practice what is on page 17 it's not really very crucial and uh, we'll move to page 18 um, in our next uh, lesson our next lesson we will move to page 18 where we'll be doing uh, getting to know each other you know um, and saying your name faire connaissance dire la nationalité uh, you know introducing yourself or get to know somebody and saying which country or you, what is your nationality dire la nationalité is mean, simply means to say your nationality so if you look at that page you'll find people from different countries and what is their nationality and so on and so forth thank you for your time and see you next time